One of the most satisfying parts of the exterior car detailing process for me is brake caliper cleaning, so I thought why not put a short video together showing how I go about tackling them. So as I say, there's just something about tending to a nice set of painted performance brake calipers that I find particularly satisfying. And while my own Nissan branded Akebono examples might not be very dirty, they're a good example of how presentable you can potentially have the stoppers of your daily driver looking. Still, I have cleaned plenty of manky items over the years, both on camera and off, so do know what it's like to get down and dirty with grubby brakes. Obviously, whipping the wheels off would be the best way to properly seat a painted brake calipers, but that's not always an option. So I'll be running through how to go about cleaning them with the wheels still fitted here, using a few handy brushes that can help make the process a bit less of a faff. Before making any direct contact with brake calipers, I'll almost always treat them and the surrounding wheel to a pre-clean and pre-rinse with something like a traffic film remover, all-purpose cleaner or citrus-based degreaser to remove any potentially abrasive loose surface dirt just like a wood with the bodywork. Once pre-cleaned, I'll then go in with either a dedicated wheel cleaner or a diluted all-purpose cleaner depending on the condition of the caliper to soften up any ingrained baked on brake dust prior to agitation with a brush. The face and other easily accessible parts of the brake caliper are first worked over with either a super soft shampoo prime detailing brush for gentle maintenance cleaning of well kept calipers like these, or a slightly more stiffer bristle but still perfectly suitable standard type detailing brush to help release dirt from the surface of more neglected calipers. Once the face and open parts have been adequately seen to, I'll then reach for the Viking Long Reach Brush Duo, which, despite their bristles being a tad stiffer than I'd like, still prove indispensable for accessing both the more intricate and recessed parts of a brake caliper than a more traditional brush might struggle to. With most of the visible parts of the caliper now cleaned, I'll then generally go for an easy detailed brush, whether large or small, to access the mostly unseen area nestled within the barrel, which is generally tended to while cleaning the wheel itself, but also to remove any dirt from the tight spot on the other side of the caliper between it and the hub, and it's good to take advantage of the flexibility of the brush here by bending it into a shape that can be easily coaxed around the caliper instead of it being unnatural forced. There is of course plenty of other brushes available that will enable you to go into even more detail, however the ones I've been hands on with here should allow you to access most if not all of the visible parts of a brake caliper without having to remove the wheel. The same procedure of course goes for the smaller rear calipers which having a bit more space around them are generally a tad easier to tend to. Despite being quite deeply recessed, my single piston rear calipers for example can be lazily washed over with just a mitt if needs be, but I still prefer to get the brushes in there as I find bristles are generally better than fibres for these fiddly parts. Something else worth mentioning is when to clean the calipers in relation to the rest of the car. So assuming you tend to the wheels before the body, which you should, following a pre-wash and pre-rinse of them, I'll generally apply a wheel cleaner or an APC to both the wheel and the caliper. Give the face of the wheel a clean first, then tend to the face and intricate bits of the caliper, finishing up with the barrels of the wheel last, which will simultaneously clean any brake bits I didn't access previously but really it's entirely up to you as weather conditions, wheel and caliper finish and how dirty they both are can all serve to dictate whether the brake calipers are clean before the wheels or afterwards.
following a good clean, a thorough rinse is obviously required to remove the suds and lingering dirt. And while you don't want to unnecessarily drive pressurised water into brake calipers, you do initially at least still want to get in there with the pressure washer from a few different angles to ensure they're as clean as can be before moving on. After a rinse, brake calipers lend themselves well to being blow dried, so I generally give them a once over along with the rest of the wheel with a metro sidekick to drive the water out from the various nooks and crannies. However, assuming you can fit your hand in between the spokes, a small general purpose towel can still be effective at wiping away and absorbing any rinse water if you don't have access to any kind of forced or compressed air. And that's that to be honest in terms of cleaning. Things like dressing tyres and making sure wheels are as equally clean can help to complement a nice coloured caliper. But if you want to take it to the next level with things like touching up, re-stickering, polishing and or protecting then realistically you're going to have to get the wheels out of the way. Still, considering these particular three and a half year old calipers have only ever received a wheels in the way clean they look about as good as a daily driver's brakes realistically can and a few of the others I've filmed myself giving a once over on camera in the past have turned out pretty nice too. Because this was only a relatively short video with uh, not a huge amount of varied cleaning content I thought it made sense to do one last illustrative dry run before wrapping it up. So I generally advise either a super soft or standard detailing brush for the caliper faces depending on how old and or neglected they are. Some long reach angled Viking items for the more intricate or inset parts of the caliper and an easy detailed brush or two to squeeze into the gaps between the brakes, the barrel and the hub. Some calipers will obviously be more accessible than others due to their size and the design of the surrounding wheel, but equip yourself with a suitable set of brushes, pay attention to what you're doing and there's no reason why after a few cleans you can't have yours looking as good as mine. So as always thanks for watching, most if not all of the items used here can be found conveniently linked in the description below so consider treating yourself to a new tickle stick or two but either way be sure to give your calipers a tap of the pedal from me.